Right, well today's route is going to be Route 21 from the Peak District and the Derbyshire book and it's South Wigfield. Right, I've just started the route now. It's like I've got a bit of road work before I go into the ride. So it's not my uh, usual distance, it's a real short route this is, but I just follow whatever comes up in the book really. So. Right, I'm just turning up Woods Lane now, which is... Uh, well, it says it's a broad way, it's got a few steep, steep steps to negotiate, but we'll see how we go. Shit. Bollocks. Right, I've had a good start to this ride. I've just fell in a holly bush, put my foot down, and lost my balance. This is looking well overgrown. Well, it definitely doesn't get much use, this trail doesn't. Yeah, there definitely doesn't seem a lot of traffic down this bit. Not sure whether I'm coming into a farm now. Not sure whether people use this area, it seems fairly quiet. I've not seen anybody as yet. Yeah, I've seen well out in the sticks here, I've not been around this area at all. I'm on one of these trails that you could easily miss because it's literally like you've just gone through somebody's garden here. Well, somebody likes cutting the grass anyway. I didn't see them rocks there and they went straight into them with a sun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very quiet sort of area, it doesn't seem to be very popular with walkers or anybody really. I think up to now it would be a route, if it was in the winter it would be well boggy on this trail. Yeah, it's definitely not a popular area this with people for walking or whatever, unless you so happens to there's nobody down here. Oh shit, the only thing I'll say about this route up to now, I've been knackled to buggery. It's quite tight and knackly a lot of these routes are.
Yeah, so <coughs> it's a bit hard to get going really on this to say it's it's quite overgrown and there's quite quite a lot of nettles as well. So but again it's somewhat new so opening out of it now it's like coming onto the road so very tight that trail was that I was on Right, this says it's a public bridleway. It's not the type of place I would have thought was a bridleway. I'd assume I'm going straight into somebody's ass. Oh, I was. <laughs> it literally just turns off just before we get to it. Just uh, bypass that bit of a ford. I got caught out the other day with one that was a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. Ended up with wet feet when I got back because there's a few rocks in the middle of it that ended up getting off my bike. I'm not sure that it's picking it up on the GoPro, but <coughs> this really is a, a real tight trail. And a, well, there's that many uh, nettles about. I've already been stung to that now many times. Keep riding one hand but every, try every time I say something. Shit. There's probably not really been a lot to video on this route to be honest. I think it's been a bit samey samey. Just a uh, old single track with nothing much exciting around to look at if I'm honest. But as I say with all routes, you know, you, you just don't know till you come out and do them. Right, well I've just finished that ride and for whatever reason it's not come out at the mileage you thought. It's got it down as 5.39 mile. I've rechecked the route. It does, I definitely not took any shortcuts or anything. And it has got the same elevation they expected as well, 550 foot. Um, wasn't really my sort of ride to be honest. I don't think there's anything exciting to view on it. And obviously it's way short anyway. Yeah, it's probably not the type of ride that I'd enjoy doing really, but you know, it just seemed a bit a bit boring. Again, if you if you live around here, then may, maybe it's okay for you, but I don't think I'd make a special journey to do it anyway. But, well, in fairness, the, the majority of it was off-road, but it was just on like boring single track really with nothing exciting. So that's just my opinion anyway. So on that note, I shall wrap this video up.